Brian, I would like the paranormal to be real. It would invest the world with more magic and more uh, interest. Uh, but uh, I don't want to fool myself. And so uh, I have to look at the vast majority of, of scientists who either think that the paranormal, parapsychology, ESP, are not worth even thinking about or who say it's just an outright uh, fraud or hoax or waste of time. Uh, you're one of the few uh, leading scientists who uh, would take the paranormal seriously. So w why do you do that? Um, well, I would say, first of all, I, I would question your statements about the vast majority who uh, dismiss it and few who believe it because it's uh, a fact that once you profess a belief that it may be true, you, uh, this may damage your career prospects. And, uh, um, and the s surveys have suggested, in fact, quite a number of um, scientists believe that it's uh, real, but don't come out and say it. Yeah, they're in the closet, as we say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Fair comment. Uh, but w mm. w so why is that the case? Well, it's part of a sociology, something um, uh, science is a bit like a a, a club which has its rules to what, as to what you may believe and what you may not. Especially the, before tenure. <laughs> yes, indeed. Because um, the biggest uh, issue is intelligent design. It's really dangerous to mm -hmm. express any interest in that, and a paranormal is not quite as serious <laughs> an offense. Okay, so let's look at the paranormal, and I I you, uh, uh, you know, certainly have uh, earned the uh, the right uh, with your Nobel Prize to be able to articulate things, but wh why why do you think pa the subject of parapsychology, paranormal, is uh, sufficiently interesting to to take your attention? Well, I think it is clearly um, interesting if, to know if things like telepathy exist. Um, that the whole world, well, all sorts of things would change if we accepted that paranormal things happened and that we were there were connections between us and so on. So yeah. w what do you look to as some of the evidence that mm. that occurs? Uh, I mean, I, I would like it to occur. Uh, you know, I, in the past, have tried different things, mm. and I've been, you know, mm. completely unsuccessful in, in uh, you know, in, in, in reading the minds of anyone, you know, including my mm. own kids and whatever. I mean, uh, so I'm hopeless. What gives you the confidence that there is something here? Uh... Well, it's actually been a change over my career. And I suppose I first came across uh, the paranormal seriously uh, in a conference in 1974. Mm. And um, I guess my general feeling there was that there was uh, fairly suggestive evidence, but um, perhaps not complete certainty. And then experiment, experimental methods improved, and now the um, evidence is very strong. Um, it's basically that over the years, the, um, there have been legitimate criticisms of the um, uh, evidence that, uh, for example, someone made a, may have made a mistake and, and um, biased the, mm -hmm. um, well, uh, put down the, re recorded the results wrongly or there may have been fraud and so on. And uh, in response to all these possible flaws, the, the design has been improved, so it's now much Better, for example, it may all be run by a computer. There'll be a an automated automated process of generating random numbers and recording results. Um, a person may, for example, push a button or something to indicate which choice. So it's become a much tighter subject, and that has not made the results go away. Whereas if it were not a real effect, you'd think that um, if you tightened the procedures, the results would disappear. Mm. And uh, in which aspects of, of paranormal uh, activity uh, does, does, does this occur? Is it broadly, or is it just in telepathy, or we call clairvoyance, where you know something without another mind, you, you sort of perceive things at a distance, or precognition, knowing the future, telekinesis, moving things. W which of these categories of ESP do you think uh, you know, has sufficient um, uh, data that, that gives you high confidence that it's, it's a real phenomenon? Well, uh, most of them do, really. There's telepathy and remote viewing and so on. I think um, the staring effect. Um, now, wh one thing which has um, 
become fairly clear, I think, is something called the experimental effect, and that sort of is something which um, uh, a scientist with the usual training doesn't like the idea of, but I mean, if experimenters are, have an influence on in an experimental result, yeah. then that's something you have to accept. Um, it conflicts with the idea that you should always get the same result from the same experiment. Um, with uh, uh, so-called scientists who are believers getting positive results and so scientists who are disbelievers getting negative results, is that...? Uh, uh, to some extent, but I, I think um, some experiments have a certain power, maybe some kind of subtle energy if that exists, which mm. is helping things go, go better. Mm. Kind of amplifying the aura of the subjects, mm. uh, in a way. Yeah. Yes, uh, sort of. If it were an experiment on electrical conductivity, you you might uh, <laughs> imagine a person who is sort of introducing charge in <laughs> into a situation. Yeah. That it's just as a metaphor. Yeah. 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 Uh, w why, if ESP uh, paranormal is a real phenomena, if it is, why are the effects so absolutely bloody weak? Well, uh, in the case of ESP, they're not weak. I mean, the experiments. So, for example, an increase from 25%, uh, um, uh, 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 um, say, if you were guessing one out of four. Sorry. And um, uh, it, the actual average is about w w one in three. Uh, so that's quite a big effect. Now, now what was the actual average? Average of what? Is that one, one experiment, or that's hundreds, thousands of experiments? Or to go from 25% mm. to 33%, and to do that over mm. long trials certainly does sound like a significant thing. Yes, well, if you look into the figures, you find that you have to do about 100 trials before you can, uh, the difference becomes significant, so. But that sounds very, very that sounds like a small number because if you get a significant difference in, in 100, uh, you, you know, maybe somebody else does the same thing and gets a, uh, a significant difference in the other direction that they don't report. So the average together would have been a mm. null, mm. but if only one is reported, then then it looks like there's a statistical difference because mm. you only have a motivation to, re to report uh, results which sound interesting. Um, well, it's part of the uh, ethics of the field that you don't uh, fail to publish something uh, because it gives um, a negative result or, or no result. So uh, you're supposed to publish regard, uh, supposed to submit regardless, and editors are supposed to publish regardless. Mm. So it's not like in medical research where people do tend, um, editors won't publish a result that um, shows no significance in the first drug committee. Drug companies don't want to <laughs> publish that either. But so on a scale of zero to a hundred, zero meaning no confidence mm -hmm. in uh, the reality of uh, of the paranormal, and a hundred being absolute, hundred percent, obviously confidence. Where are you? Well, I'd probably say ninety nine percent, because the um, the amount of evidence in favour. And does this cut across all areas of ESP? You just lumping them together, or or is there a differentiation? Do you differentiate? between telepathy, reading mm. minds, precognition, knowing the future, um, clairvoyance, uh, remote viewing, or so seeing something with, without the intervention of other minds, mm. telekinesis, moving things. I mean, mm. those are four categories. Is, are they all at 99, or would you say some are higher and some are lower? Uh, well, the lowest probably is psychokinesis because these are very small effects. Okay. But I think it, a lot depends on people being in the right state of consciousness to get things to happen which may apply for things like uh, playing music and so on. Uh, how, how would it apply to playing music? Uh, well, um, uh, performances differ in quality depending yes. on the state of consciousness of the players, perhaps. So, so that's an analogy? In other words, uh, if, you're, if your mm. state of consciousness, my wife's a pianist, mm. so I'm very familiar mm. with all the states of consciousness in playing music. Uh, and so... Um, Certainly, you're right. Quality of performance will depend on consciousness. Mm. So you're saying, in the same sense, analogously, that the state of your performance in the paranormal also depends mm. on different states of consciousness. Well, it may be more of an analogy because it's possible that uh, people acting in a group may be using telepathy, and they somehow lock into a, a single state mm. and then perform better. And so, uh, what, what's the implication of that? What, 
if indeed it's 99 percent, which you say, which which is, a, shall we say, a, a minority position mm -hmm. that it's mm -hmm. such a high confidence level. Uh, what's the implication of that? Well, I feel in a lot of areas, um, uh, establishment science has got it wrong, and this is one of them.